Hey everybody, hello! It is Saturday the 3rd of February and you know what that means. It is the Elaborate Chronicles! I was up here last Saturday but there really was just little jobs to do. So I basically just came up and let them out so they could have some time out. So, but anyway, I came up today because it was muck out day and um, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, we'll go to the greenhouse first. And there are some signs of life here from the chard, and there's some from the broad beans. I've just given everything a bit of a watering. I don't know if I dare to believe that those are actually pumpkins coming through, but we shall see. So, yeah, the greenhouse stuff is coming up. Um, looking all right. There's always time. There's uh, some stuff coming up from the beetroot. So, yeah. And if it all dies, I can always just go to the garden center and buy plants. <laughs> Anyway, right, so you can see the goofballs are out. Yes, and they're about to go back out. Uh, so yeah, it was muck out day. So again, once again, cleared it all out. We've got a nice a whole bale of uh, straw goes down. It's about a bale every 10 to 14 days. So um, topped up all the food, topped up all the water. It's all nice and fresh in here. And as usual, oh, something that uh, Ryan did. Apparently one of the geese, some of them would fall into, or not fall into that bucket, but they crawl into it and they get stuck and get out. So we've cut that down so they can get out a lot easier. So we've got a couple of other water stations in here to make up for that. But yeah, we're all, it's all looking good in here. And uh, so we'll go out and see where the buck is gone. <laughs> so, well, as usual, we've all, uh, well, it goes where it usually goes, on the plot. Something gets wasted. So, ah, you can see the rhubarb is coming up. Maybe some rhubarb canning this year. I'm almost out of the stuff I made in 2020. <laughs> I think there's about two more jars of that, and those are probably going to go to Sven in Sweden when I make it over for the waffles. Right, he knows what I'm talking about. And I know he watches these. So, anyway, we come up here, and... We are to the hedge. Yes. So this is all pretty much covered now. Um, but I'm going to try to level it off. So next week we'll go in behind those planters a little bit and just bring it up a bit more. This has been moved out here. <laughs> I tried moving it out here. And it kind of imploded on itself. So thank you so much, Ryan, for putting that back together again. And this is going to be the planter for that little corn pumpkin idea I have that I saw on either the allotment magazine or Gardener's World or something to that effect. Right, so I think we have some signs of life coming up here. Yes, we do. We have some bulbs sprouting. Fantastic. Good. Nice to know that I've lugged those logs over here for a reason. And that's why I like to give it some color. The other tuck's looking great. Um, the purple sprouting broccoli, be careful, don't step on the garlic, can't be planted. Um, is showing some new signs of life here. And it's looking a bit sorry for itself. We'll give that a bit of time if it doesn't regrow. Throw it out, leave it to the geese, start again. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so we'll come over here. The garlic field is looking good. There's going to be a lot of freaking garlic this year. So all those, I don't know if you can see it from here, but all those little green sprigs. That's all garlic. And the back two are the elephant garlic. So I planted about three different types of, uh, types of garlic. One's just your regular standard garlic, one is uh, German giant garlic, which I think is just German elephant garlic, and then elephant garlic from here. So we got the, uh, uh, I wanted to say broccoli, no, rhubarb coming up here, and the rhubarb coming up there. Spinach from last year, we've trimmed that down, and now it looks like it's uh, regenerating nicely, but hopefully we've got some good spinach plants from there. Some of that's going to get planted in there for them, because um, they'd love to eat it and gnaw on it. And then it's just something that just regrows every year. So, yeah. Um, got some ideas about what to do with the rest of it. Um, so it doesn't get eaten. That's so heartbreaking when you work really hard and get stuff out here and then the slugs eat it all. But anyway, live and learn. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I want to make this look like an amazing plot this year. Alright, well it is that time of day because it is about to rain. So we've been out, they've been out a good three hours, they've had some fun. They know it's time to go back in. <laughs> so let's go. Oh, and there's that little sparrow that likes to come visit. <laughs> oh, you gotta go with the geese, you're brave. <laughs> Thank God we're not under lockdown. 
Yeah, we've been uh, very lucky uh, this year. So far, so good. Haven't had to keep them in, so let's hope it stays that way. Um, I guess they're more concerned about blue tongue this year, which is more for cow and sheep, but um, and treatable. So, anyway, so I can't imagine having to keep these in all the time. God, <laughs> right, crowdy. Okay, come on, geese, let's go, let's go. It's your chance to make me look like an idiot, and I know how much you look forward to that every week. Let's go. Come on, geese. That's it. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it, Jojo. Lead the way. Lead the way. Lead your girls. <laughs> Janice is going to take over. Right. Come on, sweetheart. You have to go. Come on. That's it. Mm, we got three dissenters. Jilly, I'm shocked. You're the smart one. <laughs> Come on. Jasmine. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jasmine, come on. We got Jasmine, and I think that's Maria. Come on, sweetheart. Here we go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, come on. In, in, in. Only when I'm filming. Only when I'm filming. Any other time, they're fine. Most of them are. Right. Jasmine. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, in the house, girl. In the house, darling. That's a girl. All right. Oh, now I can just get it. And then there was one. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. Oh, God. <laughs> it's actually harder when there's just one. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Come on. We might just have to switch off and I might have to go Let's hope not. That's it. That's it. That's it. Turn. 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 That's it. Like steering ship. There we go. Huh. <laughs> yeah. That could have been complicated because if I had to uh, catch her, she's, uh, <laughs> yeah, difficult. But anyway, they're in. Okay. All right. Are we happy in? Yes, you are. You've got no spoon bedding. And we've got fresh food, fresh water, everything. That gets tough a couple of times a week. I don't just, I just once a week. Uh, four things. All right. I'm going to leave you two, two, three, six, nine, am I on about? <laughs> Who's my marbles here? Leave you guys in peace for the week. Not for the week. I'll probably be up Monday during the week to see you again. Hello, Jojo. All right. Anyway, that's the Allotment Chronicles, everybody. Have a great week. There they are, my lovely angels.